Good morning everyone, I'm Harry Johnson and uh, I'm bringing you the video for Tuesday moment uh, uh, during uh, this uh, coming week. Uh, Elizabeth is absent and in her absence uh, I'm providing some of the input. Yes, uh, in Elizabeth's absence on vacation this week, uh, I'm providing a video interview for the Tuesday Moments at uh, Trinity United in Winnipeg. While Elizabeth is absent, Reverend Paul Campbell will provide pastoral duties and he can be contacted through the church office and our office administrator, Mr. Steve Taplin. Speaking of uh, Steve, part of my purpose today is to go inside and interview Steve so that uh, you can see him. He's become the voice and the face of Trinity. And I uh, want you to hear about the things he does, how to contact him, and to hear a little bit of his own input about his job. So let's go inside and we'll talk to Steve. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Harry. Ah, yes, I've come uh, to uh, share some of your uh, thoughts with uh, our audience in the Tuesday moment. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I see I'm interrupting uh, your uh, uh, office work this morning. Uh, you've become the voice and face of Trinity since joining the Trinity staff about three months ago. And uh, I think it's time for uh, uh, our audience to hear your voice and uh, hear some of uh, your uh, experiences. Uh, I'd like you to tell us some of the things that your job entails. Well, sure. Uh, well, thanks for coming, Harry. Um, I'm always uh, pretty busy around here, but uh, the door is always open, and you're very welcome. Um, I, I, uh, in this time, with so much being done remotely, uh, how have you come to know the people of Trinity? Well, it, it's been a bit difficult. Um, I'm not, you know, uh, I see people, we have uh, a lot of user groups now, uh, since the COVID restrictions have been eased somewhat, so I've been meeting more and more people slowly here and there, and uh, the congregation is coming in uh, a few at a time, and I get to meet them, um, which has been great. Um, as I say, the door is always open, and uh, you know, uh, this we're here to serve the uh, the church. Well, that's very good. Uh, now, uh, 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 you interact to some extent with groups beyond the congregation in this role. As far as the interaction goes, um, I pretty much try to stay out of their way, you uh -huh. know, um, given the space that they have acquired through the church, and uh, this is their space for their time. Uh, if they do need anything, um, I'm here. And I, I uh, my interaction is I let the, the leaders know that I'm here if they need anything. Uh, but they're, uh, mo for the most part, all the groups are self-controlled uh, and uh, they do their thing um, respectfully and uh, come and go. They sanitize uh, when they come and they sanitize when they leave. And, uh, you know, uh, everything's just fantastic. Uh, there has been no problems, but I say, you know, like, We've had a lot of user groups come in lately now that the COVID restrictions have been lifted and it's been fantastic and everybody's very respectful. Yes, all right. And, and uh, uh, do you find issues related to parking? Uh... Well, um, Trinity United Church provides many things for the community. Uh, we provide the gardens out in the back um, and we provide parking for the community. Uh, we provide parking for uh, the students that are in the high school across the street from us. We have a designated area for them to park uh, as long as they're registered with the school. Um, yeah, and uh, for the parking here, we have two condo groups that are close by to the church. 
and uh, they require some parking. I guess they, they have their own limited parking, so we s tell them we have parking for you if you would like, uh, free of charge. Um, so, uh, but we have one condition actually a couple of conditions I guess nothing's really free but uh, we we require that the parking that nobody parks on Sundays from early morning Sunday to uh, the whole day on Sundays uh, because we have uh, in-person church services and we require the parking for our congregations um, it's been a uh, some people haven't got the message quite right but uh, I uh, consider that anybody who wants to park here to please contact me uh, you can contact me through several different ways I'm here from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, in the office uh, you can ring the doorbell or just walk in I'm here um, or you can contact me through the Trinity United Church website uh, we have an email address and a telephone number and if I'm not here after hours you can leave a message or an email and I will contact you and we'll register you and you can park and so that we can uh, have good communication and uh, provide for our community well, that's uh, very good and nicely organized and, and in, in essence very welcoming as well. Um, I've been interested in the preparation for the uh, video uh, service uh, process. And I know you play a key role in the preparation of a PowerPoint uh, a, a, for that uh, service. Uh, I, I, I wonder if you could tell us uh, how do you go about preparing the PowerPoint for the video service? Well, the, the church office uh, provides a PowerPoint for video that we send out through YouTube for our Tuesday moments, uh, uh, for our worship on Sundays. Um, and uh, the church office uh, has the, uh, the ability to um, make a PowerPoint presentation to help people visualize and see and hear using their senses at least two of their senses visual and 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 uh, sight uh, to um, enhance our minister's uh, message each Sunday I know you've introduced uh, some uh, of your own thoughts that have improved that. Uh, I, I, uh, the, the one related to the scripture, for example, is in my mind. Uh, just uh, tell us what your observation was and how you brought that about. Well, the church office is... Uh, for the PowerPoint presentation, um, our minister allows uh for to use the imagination to enhance the minister's message and only under our minister elizabeth her approval um, there was a just suggestion made uh to our minister about uh, including the scripture wording from the verses onto the powerpoint to enhance the congregations uh, uh, and the minister's message so that they can see and hear the verses um, it was presented uh, it was suggested and uh, a, leaf, uh, a brief presentation to the minister and with the minister's uh, um, uh, approval uh, wisely uh, she didn't say yes or no she said let's try it for one week and she noticed uh, in our first in-person uh, service that the congregation was very positive to it and uh, in her wisdom uh, uh, Minister Elizabeth uh, granted the approval to include the scripture wording in the PowerPoint Oh, that is a very nice uh, a, a thought process in terms of how these things came about. You've told us about uh, how people can contact you and about the information on the website and about your hours. I wonder, as we wind up our discussion, uh, do you have any uh, personal message that you'd like to convey to our audience? Absolutely. Um, the, the church is open Monday to Friday uh, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, 
you can call for a message uh, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the voice and the, and the face that uh, uh, will be on the other end of the phone uh, and through the email messages. Um, I will do my very best to, uh, if I miss your phone call or, or if you email at night time, I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, everybody is welcome and I hope to meet everybody very soon in the upcoming time and uh, hopefully we can get back to normal at some time in the future. Well, I thank you very much for this time with you and uh, for the contributions you're making. And yes, you are the voice and the face of Trinity. Uh, we're very glad that you're part of the team and uh, very glad to hear your message this morning. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Harry.